as we have a full smoke gank here from Vichy Gaming. You know exactly what's going on, They find the bear. Like. They're gonna find Sumail first. There's the initiation. He uses himself and dodges the pounce as a result. Roar on top of Ice Ice Ice. Requiem of Souls isn't gonna do that much damage, but of course the minus damage reduction is a pretty big deal. Black pops his BP. Echo Slam is used as well. Ice 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 is gonna be the first casualty along with the Juggernaut. That's two dead just like that. EG in really prime position to take this fight and perhaps the game. There is no way these, these carries match up against us in the late game. Hook shot in, Universe looking to engage, or at least to try oh, and force engagement. Swap in, Enigma goes for the BKB solo black hole and how he will have a second though after this one. Gets hexed up, impaled though. He's going to be dealt with, finish him off, they get the kill. Infest into, oh he doesn't get the infest off. Moo now gets locked in the place, the bash is there, tied with a Ravage. Number two comes in, can Moo do it? He wants to mail, but to mail heals up with the Satanic. Impale comes too late, and Newbie down to just two, make it one. With TA left standing, Urshaker going to buy it back, but Rax has been claimed in the top lane. This is the worst type of game to be in the position that Tomfu is right now because you kind of oh. know that you're up. Uh, we see the guy here on the Jakiro. Jakiro is going to melt focus fire. You on the river. More action breaking out. LPC just charging in onto fear. They know there's a couple of heroes bottom. He's going to TP. They get the stomp. A big kill. But they lose the Witch Doctor to the back because look at that. Three birds available. BKB gets turned on. Silence is going to come through. Coil only hits oh, here. Don't break the coil. Don't break the coil. Oh, he didn't know. Well, he was not just going to defend oh, this rope, but Funnick and company want to go on top of EG as Dendi gets a Shadow Strike on PPD. He's going to get Glimpse back, but Universe taking a ton of damage. The Cogs are not going to save you. The negative earn charge might be enough. He's bottling up. He might live through this. He has the TP. I think he's going to be okay somehow. And back he goes. So somehow, some way. Well, speaking of the IO, they're going out of fear in the mid lane. They kill the healing ward, but they're underneath the tower. Will they die for this? No rotations coming. Now the TP finally from the Dazzle. Does he have Grave? He does. He's, He's got a got Grave here in a second. He gets it off. And Aaron's going to still chase him down. But the tower doing too much damage. He might survive fear. He will live. He's got the Tango. That's where jetting him up. Aaron's barely going to survive. But PPD. Oh, ow. Oh, coming ow, in from the backside. The Ignite going air. through. He's doing some damage. He has no stun, though. The double damage. But it's not going to be enough. Kaka oh. will refill his bottle. But that is it. Here comes C9, though. EG have backed out. I think recognizing the fact that the Hawks on no one, these Observer would see no one. Something's up. They get the RP onto AUI to Chen though. That is not value. Not the RP you're looking for, not the kill you're looking for off of your Smoke King. C9 going to the Roshan pit, but I don't think EG have any problems contesting that one. Storm zips in with the Shiver Sky, brings out the Earthshaker, goes next onto the whip, two easy support kills, and now the Eclipse. Envy doesn't even get off the BKB because he was stunned up, and Fata looking for a TP out will be unsuccessful, and with that,